Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Roop here, coming to you from the cornfields of southern Michigan. Uh, in fact, we're right on the right on the the line. The campground is straddles the Michigan Ohio border, which is kind of weird. But uh, anyway, we are in the Book of Acts, chapter seventeen, verse twenty-eight. Seventeen, verse twenty-eight. And I'm trying to keep out of the sun here. So. <laughs> For in Him we live and move. And have our being, as certain also of your own parts have said, your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. So, Paul here is talking to the Greeks on Mars Hill, uh, the Greek philosophers and the wealthy people of Athens. And he's preaching up there and he's... He's preaching Christianity, but he's introducing it as the creator God that they believe in. The God that created the whole universe and then uh, took his hands off it. That's what the Greeks believed. And so he's conveying it as, I know who the unknown God is. So he's not preaching their religion, which was illegal back then. And he could have been thrown in jail or executed for preaching another religion. So he's conveying it like he's preaching their religion and their God, saying, well, I know you who, who that God is, the God that you call the unknown God. I know who he is. And so in the Aramaic, let me read the Aramaic script to you. It says, for in him it is we who live, who move and exist, as one of your own wise men have said, for him is our family. Meaning that... Uh, God is everywhere. Even their own poets said God is everywhere. And Paul's stressing that in the last, especially the last verse, that God is everywhere. We Everywhere we move, we move in God's spirit. Everywhere we, we go, we go in God's spirit. God fills the whole universe. He's not a creator God that created the universe and just disappeared and lived on some far planet. The whole universe is filled with God's spirit. That's what Paul's saying. Your unknown God is really the God that fills the universe. Of course, he's going to uh, let them know that it's Jesus Christ <laughs> later on, but not right now. He's just referring to him as Elohim, which just means God. So Paul's really telling them that God is everywhere. He exists everywhere. We move in him. We live in him. Because the whole world is filled by his spirit. We can't escape God. We live in his presence 24-7. And that's a good thing. That is a good thing. And Paul's conveying it as a good thing. And um, unless you're disobedient or doing something you shouldn't do, and it might not be a good thing. <laughs> might not be a good thing later on. But uh, look, if you need... If you need to talk to God, he's here. You just talk to him. Put an empty chair in front of you. Pretend Jesus is sitting there. And just talk. That's all you got to do. God's, God's here. And uh, we will see you next verse. Thank you and God bless you.